All right, lads. So coming up, we got Billy Joe Saunders versus Martin Murray. Right, going to give my thought, my two cents on this. Spoke about this fight before. Got to give my two cents, give my little prediction. Give a kind of a breakdown of this fight, right? Now, <laughs> I mean, Billy Joe Saunders, to say his career has been, and like, I suppose someone would say, well, I'm going to say disappointing. All right, and someone could turn around and be like, yo, gee, he's a two-weight world champion. How was that disappointing? Well, yeah, he is a two-weight world champion. He's a two-weight world champion who has very good skill. Yes, he is. But he's also a two-weight world champion who has no major fight. That's fair to say. He's had no major fight in his entire career. All right? And at this stage in his career now, Martin Murray, I mean, let's cast our minds back to 2017. I bring up this fight a lot. David Lemieux in Canada, right? Now, that was one of the best performances, probably the best performance by Billy Joe, all right? It has to be said, Lemieux stylistically tailor-made for Billy Joe to look good against. Slow-footed, no defense, very poor technique, a real plotter, just a not very good fighter, all right? And I remember as well when that fight was first announced. The actual, if you go back, you'll see it. The majority of people thought Lemieux by KO. They didn't look at it, and they looked at it because they didn't like Billy Joe. They didn't look at it from a style point of view where you think, holy shit, he, he got to do nothing against Billy Joe. They just thought of it from, ah, he can punch, he'll knock Billy Joe out. But obviously, you have to land that shot. And that was Billy Joe's best performance. And off the back of that, we were supposed to get Martin Murray. He was meant to fight him in the 0-2 April 2018. I think they said it was an injury or something like that, but realistically, uh, the rumour mill was poor ticket sales. They rescheduled it for July 2018. Again, it doesn't happen. That fight seems dead in the water. We get it now. We don't, we, we'll put it like this, right? In 2018, although I wasn't making videos in 2018, you think I was happy when I heard that Martin Murray was Billy Joe's next opponent? I wasn't. So how do you think I felt 2020 after the man has lost to Hassan and Dam, had two comeback fights, one in an eight rounder, one in a 10 rounder against Journeyman to be in here now fighting for a world title? You think I'm happy with that? Hell no, I'm not happy with it. We're in a situation, do you know what I'm really not happy actually, I was going to say beggars can't be choosers, but there was like a list of five names given, and John Ryder was in that list, why aren't we getting John Ryder versus Billy Joe? That's a credible opponent, John Ryder versus Billy Joe, John Ryder has improved since their first fight, John Ryder I think has earned a world title shot given the fact that in my opinion he beat Callum Smith, why aren't we getting John, and John Ryder even said he'd be willing to take the same money. So it wasn't like John Ryder was going to price himself out, you know, Joe Gallagher style. He would have been happy to take this fight. Anyway, I'm digressing a bit here. Let's just look at this fight from an analyst point of view. Let's just break it down, right? Billy Joe, we know we're going to get. He's a mover. He's a slick southpaw. Not the biggest puncher in the world, it has to be said. Um, respectable power there. I don't think he's feather fisted. But Billy Joe, Billy Joe, a trait of Billy Joe has been inconsistency. Whether it be fluctuating in between fights or having performances where he's just looked subpar. Now, Billy Joe's last fight was against a career middleweight. He was an Argentinian guy. I can't remember the guy's name. I think it was Carassus or something like that. Right? It was a very shaky performance. He was behind, I think, on one or maybe two of the judges' scorecards before the stoppage in the 11th round. All right, a very shaky performance. Billy Joe is the sort of fighter, a bit like Tyson Fury, where he needs to feel a perceived threat from the opponent. Otherwise, we get a very, very, very lackluster performance. All right? Against Lemieux, there was a threat there. Against Eubank, there was a perceived threat. Although Billy Joe did gas out quite late in that fight, he boxed very well. He looked very well early on in the fight. Against Andy Lee, again, likewise. Took Andy Lee's right hook away, dropped Andy Lee a couple of times, boxed very well. You see, that is Billy Joe fighting when there's a perceived threat. But when he's fighting against guys like Akaboff, whether you're seeing it's just a, a knockover, he ends up having tough fights. Could something similar like this happen against Martin Murray? I suspect it probably won't. Not because Billy Joe is necessarily going to be all guns blazing going to make a statement. He probably won't. He's probably going to look at Martin Murray and think, you know what, I would have beaten this guy two years ago. I'm definitely going to beat him now. I think Martin Murray, as to say he's seen better days, is an understatement. Put it like this, right? Martin Murray... Uh, in December 2018, fought on Carl Frampton versus Josh Warren undercard against Hassan and Dam. All right, he lost that fight. Now, if they had announced Hassan and Dam as the opponent for Billy Joe, 
right? Do you know what I'd be saying? That's a terrible opponent. Why are they doing that? I'd be criticizing Billy Joe. All right? Now, if I'm criticizing Billy Joe for the guy who beat Martin Murray, why do you think I think about Martin Murray as an opponent? All right? So, Martin Murray, I, although I think Billy Joe might look subpar in this fight because he's not going to feel a perceived threat, I think Martin Murray has seen better days. I think Martin Murray's seen better days when he fought Arthur Abraham. That was five years ago. All right? And this is me not being this. I don't want to sound like I'm coming across as, you know, a, a dick to Martin Murray or anything like that. But not, these are just facts. I'm just being real. You know? Never the most entertaining fighter. Not a particularly big puncher. Taking some beatings in there. Like, he took a bit of a beating against George Groves. You know, he took a very bad... He took a tremendous beating against Golovkin. You know, before he got stopped. Golovkin, I think, is the only guy to stop Martin Murray as well. Um, you know, he's been in there against... Guys, like, realistically, the best Martin Murray was back when he fought Martinez. That was back in 2013. Right? So, that's seven years ago. So, he's definitely... He's been seeing better days for years now. So, Martin Murray... I can't really see him... I don't give him much chance. I don't give him any chance against Billy Joe. All right? Is there anything I think he can do to offset Billy Joe? Not necessarily. Not even at this stage. Not, not necessarily. And Martin Murray... Some people say, oh, maybe he's bigger than Billy Joe. Well, Martin Murray's been campaigning midway for pretty much the majority of his career. You know? When he fought Arthur Abraham... Excuse me. When he fought Arthur Abraham... Yeah, it was a super middle. But he went straight back down the middle after. So this is essentially a fight between two somewhat big middleweights that's essentially what it is i can't see anything other than the billy joe win the question is can billy joe stop martin murray now martin murray to his credit's always been quite durable you know george groves hurt him but couldn't get rid of him triple g stopped him with body shots and um, he did eventually knock him out with a headshot or knock him down with a headshot um but always been a durable fighter so I think this fight has decision written all over it. I think Billy Joe is going to win this fight on points. The question I have is, is Billy Joe going to impress? And what's Billy Joe going to do? Like, what is Billy Joe going to do after this fight? Because I done videos on it. So other people doing videos on it. We all talked about it. The plan was Billy Joe, Callum Smith, fight in December. Then they have a fight in the new year. Unification. Ain't going to happen. Ain't going to happen. Is Billy Joe going to be next in line for Canelo if he wins this fight? Does he even deserve the Canelo fight, given the amount of, you know, you know what that's gone on. He could have had that fight in September, right? He released an interview, I think it was with Seconds Out, where he was contradicting himself constantly. He was saying it wasn't enough time. Then he was saying the money wasn't right. Then he was saying there was no offer made at all. So it, our team, Canelo, just going to look at Billy Joe and be like, you're a liability. We ain't fighting you. And from what I'm listening, look, look, Canelo's fighting one day, Golovkin's fighting the next. I think they're trying to do Golovkin-Canelo 3. I want to see that fight personally. I think I know the outcome. But I'm sure Team Canelo are looking at Billy Joe and thinking, do you know what, the hell with you, we can, we can do better. So, what will Billy Joe do after this fight? I'll talk about that a little bit more in depth after this fight's done. I'll probably do a What's Next with Billy Joe or video or something like that. Um, I can think of one name that comes to mind, you know, a certain uh, Demetrius Andre. But I'll touch on that more in a separate video, probably after this fight's done. So my prediction for this fight, Billy Joe to outpoint Martin Murray. I just think that Martin Murray has seen better days. He's never been that big a punter. He's never been that physical. He's never been... He's always been fringe world level at 160. Uh, definitely less fringe world level at 168. So I, I think he's seen better days. I think that um, we are getting the Billy Joe win on points. Expect it maybe a bit more competitive though. I think Martin Murray will have success in there. He'll win some rounds because I don't think we're going to get a Billy Joe firing on all cylinders. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. But um, that's just what I'm thinking. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Smash the like button, peeps, if you haven't already. I hope I didn't kick the stand there. But um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Hashtag G-Man's rocks, all that good stuff. People, I'll talk to you. Peace.